Hello everybody, this is Budrich, and today, tab review. And I kind of promised that I should, that I was going to recommend some YouTube channels, since there are good YouTube channels. So let's just get into it. My favorite YouTube channel. This is my favorite YouTube channel, Easy, Andreas Kling. He's great. He's a great guy, he's a great programmer uh, who is currently building his own operating system. And don't don't write any comments to me and saying, oh, you shouldn't write operating system, what's the point? Because exactly that is what he's talking about in this video, which is a good starting point here, which he uploaded uh, like uh, 22 hours ago, but it's actually probably the best video if you want to see what this channel is about and Andreas Kling is about is to watch this uh, video where he explains why he is building his own operating system um, he makes such such a good explanation of uh, what the operating system is how is it um, you know he wants to create an operating system that is like if Windows you know, Windows back in early 2000, they were really office oriented, especially Windows 2000 and Windows NT4 and stuff, you know. But uh, Microsoft choose to focus on the con consumer side, you know, trying to make it appealing for the public, you know, so like some other guys on YouTube like operating systems to be. But Microsoft could have chosen to focus on the office side instead, but they, they kind of didn't. Uh, and, but that's the operating system that Andreas is trying to build. And also, if Microsoft would also adopt Unix. So imagine that. Imagine Windows 2000 uh, merging into Unix. And it's like the operating system is supposed to be, he's building it from, from scratch. So it's like from, from the lowest part, you know, uh, the kernel and the bootloader and everything uh, till the GUI. It's like there, there is no desktop environment or anything. It's just an operating system. So everything is one package. And that might sound really weird, but just watch uh, this video and he explains what it's about but he also makes many many videos here especially this commute talk you can see where he sits in his car he, he makes these videos uh, on his way to to work you know and he talks about uh, often uh, programming related stuff uh, always very very informative inspiring and this guy knows what he, what he's talking about. He, he, he has worked at Apple for a couple of years. He's worked at Nokia a couple of years. And he, he doesn't have a college degree or anything. He claims that, that he got, got these jobs all thanks to open source. Uh, because of the skills he acquired by being a, a KDE uh, a contributor from, from like early age. Uh, he, he actually explains that stuff uh, in detail in, in one video here, which I also recommend. It's kind of long, but it's very, very good. Um, very inspiring, like how, how, how to get a job at Apple through open source. It, it's like, it's a, it's a good here. How I got here, my ca career. Uh, very good video, even if it's long. And also I have to recommend, uh, 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 because most of these commute talk videos when he's driving in his car, either he's driving in his car or it's like these videos, you know, where, where he working on the operating system, implementing some features. And, and this, this um, Serenity OS is the operating system called. It has kind of taken off now. They are a bunch of developers and it's really, really moving forward all, all the time here. It's very cool to see the progress. I don't watch these uh, development videos that often. It's like C++ kind of above <laughs> my understanding in, in a way, but comfy videos nonetheless. Uh, but where was it now? 
it's important here licenses this video uh, he actually answers a quest question that I asked about licenses so uh, and, and I I thought it was a very good video not just because it was a response to my question also uh, night drive talk about temple os <laughs> great stuff um, yeah, so many of these are, are good you you will see you will see i cannot recommend this channel enough it's it's he's a great guy serenity is a cool project this is an excellent youtube channel next tab uh, this one is a bit not like the highest recommendation is this but in a way it's it, it's kind of cool uh, free code camp maybe you know about it you see it's 1.3 million subscribers apparently but they kind of collect different tutorials it's not like a, a company organization or one single person making tutorials they kind of i don't know how it works they contact different youtubers and whatnot and ask if they want to be featured on their uh, channel here and then the most of the tutorials are also kind of long here you see yeah this guy <laughs> with these excellent glasses here uh, 13 hours and 40 minutes but most of the time around one two hour long uh, tutorials on some subject a lot of it python and web dev but whatever and here you can see neural networks but the reason uh, and i very seldom watch any of these tutorials but i kind of watch this one about sas here uh, because I, I i wanted to refresh uh, my, my knowledge a bit about it because i will soon uh, uh, add uh, sas into the hugo project that we are building so i i just and and this uh, this video came up in my feed so i watched it and i'm glad i did because it was a good video and the one who, who have made this tutorial is um, see this guy code stacker uh, which is uh, kind of a new channel um, not uh, so not that many subscribers not that many views yet but very good quality high quality uh, tutorials good tempo well produced uh, to the point and, and kind of really packed with a lot of, of, of stuff in in yeah great videos uh, so if you are watching my hugo uh, web dev tutorials and stuff and and kind of feel i don't really know this web dev and budridge doesn't really seem to know <laughs> everything about it either you know this guy uh, is is uh, he knows uh, uh, these stuff very well and explains them great and i uh, especially recommend this uh, css uh, tutorial here it kind of uh, that's a very good starting point uh, to, to, to see yeah and it's also just 40 minutes long and you actually build a home page in this in this video um, and you, there's no problem I, I watched several of his videos uh, like yesterday this one this one this one and this one and I watched all all of them on double speed um, and there's no problem doing so it's not like it the audio isn't getting weird or anything so great great stuff if if you want to either learn uh, html web dev stuff or if you just want to refresh your 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 knowledge because i kind of need to, to do this I, I i do this every time i i create a web page you know i i talked about it i go to the w3 schools page but i also usually just watch some of these basic tutorials but these are really great stuff so i recommend that uh, and in his videos um, he is using uh, he's using vs code as his editor uh, not sure what operating system i guess it's windows 10 maybe it, it, it this is completely web dev it doesn't matter what operating system and it, it doesn't matter what editor you use either but vs code from microsoft you know that's actually maybe the best uh, editor you can you can use for for web development when it's javascript html and css it's it it's excellent for that it, it there there's no no getting around that 
so I don't blame anyone if uh, for using that, you know. And you know me, I don't care about those things that much. But uh, in one way, you know, it's Microsoft. and uh, But VS Code is actually open source. So you can either build it yourself or uh, use uh, VS Codium, I think it's called. And then you get a... Uh, uh, um, a version of VS Code without the nasty Microsoft bits, you know, because the thing is VS Code is open source. I don't remember what license it's it's under, but I know that I read once that the compiled version of VS Code, which is the one that you get when you download VS Code from from the homepage, you know, and especially on Windows, they install .exe and stuff, you know, the compiled version isn't covered. Uh, by the same license as the open source version Just so you know, but if you compile it yourself, then you get like a Program that you can trust a little bit more at least Whatever uh, in VS Code, I don't know if if it's a plugin that that uh, code stacker have installed or if it's actually it might actually be installed by default in VS Code, but it is also available for Sublime, and that plugin is called Emmet, um, and it's kind of well known. Maybe, maybe it's even uh, available for 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 like Vim or something. I, I'm not sure. But what it is is like it's 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 a micro language or what to call it that you can use to easily create HTML tags. Let's see now if I can do this. So if I do um, was it nav dot no now I don't remember. I'm I'm a bit tired. Uh, hello, yes. No, okay, okay. I just write div dot hello, and that will create a, a div tag with a class hello. You see, easy, easy peasy. And you can do div class goodbye uh, with an ID something, and then we can make like a nested. I think this is, no, this is how we do, uh, and then maybe we do uh, a tag uh, with with the, the class sum with the sibling, uh, sibling uh, uh, ul. Boink. And you get you, you see if if you get good at good at this. I, I just installed it, so I don't really know the language, but I kind of already know the language. You know, and you can see how easy it is to build up uh, uh, HTML fast, and HTML is extremely tedious to type manually. So so this is also a plugin that I recommend here. So it's part of the tabs in my browser today, but there are more. There are more. There are more. Got bleed, do you know? Um, I hope you know this this guy because this is um, you know the the, the granddaddy of of uh, Linux uh, YouTube videos, um, and he does all kinds of things. Uh, it's often like terminal focused, a lot uh, lot about Ranger uh, workflow and Tmux workflow, and he kind of likes. Uh, yeah, you know these terminal applications that I you I'm not the biggest fan of terminal UI applications, but I'm a big big fan of of Gotblito, and it feels like I owe him a shout out because I know he made a shout out to me once. He, he used uh, like uh, a script that I created once uh, with with that queued files in MPV, what, whatever. Very good uh, uh, channel if you don't know know about it you should really check it out and he's he, he's been been around longer than anyone uh, else that's active now and yeah he, he re and, and he also he's cool because he have he have his own thing you know his own voice um, and I really appreciate appreciate that like unique because that's kind of not really uh, 
it's a bit rare, you know. Uh, it, it feels like a lot of tech videos, whatever it is, is it Linux or if it, other tech stuff. It's like everyone is just saying the same things over and over again. But Scott Blitu, he, he, he kind of mixes in his own scripts and uh, sometimes reviews of, of programs and stuff. Great, or, or maybe Vim, Vim tips and tricks. It can be all, all kinds of stuff. And great channel, great channel, great guy. Uh, highly recommended, but I think most of you already know about him. Another another channel that I also feel I should have mentioned a long time ago uh, because uh, he also featured a question uh, that I sent to him once. Um, this is a Sublime Text of uh, uh, focus channel, but it's all about Sublime Text. But it's a very good channel, and I. I haven't watched that many videos um, here, it was some time ago, but I remember I, I, I watched, um, let's see if we can find it here now, uh, yes, this, this one, this one, uh, and I believe this was the first uh, videos he uploaded, this series here, but it was really, really good, uh, where uh, Odet Nerd here uh, create a plugin for Sublime from scratch, uh, and it's actually a quite cool plugin that's uh, that you can use uh, to take notes and stuff. But the the best thing is that I learned a lot of Python by by uh, watching and also input all of these tutorials, you know, it, it's completely useless and that, it also goes for my videos as well. You should really try to um, copy what we are doing, you know. Open your editor and, and uh, write the code yourself uh, while you're watching and, and stuff. That, that's how you learn. Not, and I did that with the, these videos and just, uh, and I learned so much about Python uh, by just watching these five videos, so that's highly recommended. If you, uh, uh, but but of course it's Sublime. So if if you don't like Sublime, then don't watch this channel. But if you are kind of interested in Sublime, especially these inner workings about how how plugins and, and stuff works, the, this is amazing resource. So highly recommend Odet Nerd for Sublime users. Uh, then we have this channel. Baby Vogue, uh, Baby Dora, <laughs> which is a channel I, I just discovered uh, and I like it a lot. It's it, it's a really really good channel. It's a even if this uh, video here is about Windows 10 and which is some really cool features here. Uh, uh, this is a new thing here. They released uh, Microsoft release for Windows 10, Power Toys, uh, which. Uh, it's uh, some kind of a tiling uh, thing here for, for Windows. It, it looks, some, some of the aspects of this looks amazing. And uh, I bet that we will see this on, on the Linux side as well. Uh, so, some of, especially this creating layouts, whatever. That's not the point. Windows 10 is not the point here. It's Baby Vogue because most time uh, on Baby Vogue's channel here, it's uh, it, it's almost uh, exclusively about uh, uh, GNOME and KDE. It she had this weird <laughs> anime uh, flavored lore to to it all, and it's like. Uh, Whatever. Let's not get into to that. What what it's really is about is is GNOME and KDE, and like a very very detailed uh, look. Most of the videos focus on on just one or two certain features, uh, new features. She 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 kind of download the the new, uh, unreleased. Uh, uh, patches and stuff to to these uh, GNOME and K KDE project and and really dissect and analyze um, uh, the new features and often find inconsistencies in, in, in the uh, UI or user experience and often make uh, really funny videos about it. It's, I often laugh uh, out loud when I watch these videos and I'm not uh, anime <laughs> Uh, person in any way, but I, I think this uh, um, baby Vogue here um, 
really really uh, have created something special with this channel it's it, it, it's really really good and fun to watch and it might might sound weird that I watch and is interested in this because I don't use GNOME or KDE or, or these things but I am still very interested in, in like user interface design, UX design and stuff and it's it's kind of this is even better <laughs> than using I, I can just watch uh, watch the new features here and get either in, inspired or get a good laugh you know it's 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 great. It's a great channel, anyways. Then we have also uh, Chris Ochipinte here, which I just wanted to make a shout out to. I I, I just really like uh, Chris. Films by Chris, Chris with a K, you know. <laughs> and I really like this video, uh, which he recently uploaded, where he makes uh, a tiled pattern here in in GIMP. And he shows some uh, uh, mad GIMP skills in this video. Uh, just a joy to watch and uh, always listen to Chris. His, uh, uh, I think he, ha he has a great, great tempo, great personality, good upbeat, uh, and always, always do things that he kind of uses himself, uh, like real life examples on, on things you can do. It's uh, it it. He makes good content uh, and seems to be a really cool guy, you know, a great, great person. I, I like, like it. So I added him to this list of tabs. Then I have uh, a couple of articles I will just mention really briefly here, which are about Hugo. This one uh, was a very good read about uh, how to set up Hugo and IPFS and IPFS is if you don't know it's like a one of these alt tech things you know it's like an alternative to HTTP a decentralized uh, uh, internet kind of it's almost like torrent um, you you the more people that visit a web page uh, if when you visit it, you also see that web page and stuff, and and this blog is actually hosted on this IPFS, and uh, this article describes how he have set it up and uh, like w what was uh, what's good about it, but also the drawbacks and and really in depth look at, uh, read here on how how these things works and. It, it was really, really uh, uh, informative and a good article. Re highly recommend it. And it's not so much about Hugo. Even if Hugo is perfect for this uh, type of things, because that's the big drawback with these decentralized systems. Uh, you cannot have a server-side dependent uh, web application, but a static site is kind of perfect for, for this. But this is much more about the 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 yeah IPFS itself and how we have set it up with with the, uh, the servers and the pipelines here and stuff. It's it, it's a great read, and this is like a, a preface to that article. It's from the same blog here. With blue ink is the blog called. Um, haven't really read this one, but but I bet it's also good. But this one I have read read this, and it it was a very good read. I, I just clicked on it. It came up on on Lobsters a couple of days ago. It's it uh, it's an article from March this year. Um, I just clicked because I saw Hugo and IPFS. Uh, you know, buzzwords. Click yes, and but this was good. It was great. Uh, and another blog here that that I have been uh, kind of reading all all the articles on now when when researching Hugo a bit uh, has been this this one from uh, Regis Philibert or sorry for the pr pronunciation there uh, it's French I guess I think is uh, Canadian. Uh, but uh, good articles about like the advanced. Uh, features of, of Hugo that aren't that well described in the documentation but but here uh, they are described with, with like uh, 
uh, a lot of good examples and stuff, you know. And this is something that I would like to, to, to understand how it works good uh, translate uh, having different languages for, for a website. So, the, yeah. But that's just one thing here. There, th this is something we will add uh, uh, pi using pipes here in, in Hugo later. It's also related to the SAS stuff because you can use... Yeah, here this is actually SAS as you can see here. Whatever, let's not get into this in this video, but I, I can really recommend this page. And I also, this page is of course built with Hugo uh, and I, I think it's, it's kind of a good, good uh, design on the page. Um, uh, like the colors and stuff, whatever. Uh, last uh, but not least here, another small Swedish YouTuber uh, is called PewDiePie, uh, which I actually unsubscribed from uh, a couple of days ago, but I resubscribed to PewDiePie today when he made, <laughs> I saw this video here. You know, he made, made a weird, weird video uh, a couple of days ago uh, when he hit 100 million subscribers uh, he made a donation to uh, to some organization it was kind of strange but now he made this video and explains that he will not make that donation anymore and stuff and PewDiePie is also one of those uh, youtubers that really makes me uh, happy and laugh you know I, I i think he's a great great guy and and like there are so much so many things that that could make us sad in in the world but everything i've shown you uh here or or like it feels kind of good sometimes to be on this timeline because there, there, there are good people, good stuff going on also. And we should focus on that. And, and somehow, you know, PewDiePie, Pewds, whatever, Felix, Shelberg. He's a great guy. He deserves, he deserves uh, 500 million more subscri subscribers, you know. Uh, I like him a lot. Um, Thank you for watching everybody, hope, uh, hope uh, that uh, at least some of the channels here and pages were new for you. Um, yeah, recommend all, all of them um, for different reasons. Um, I'll see you in the next video, we continue with um, the Hugo, Hugo project here. See what we do, I got some ideas here for uh, watching the watching the tutorials um, so so we will move on with the web dev stuff have a great day bye